everybody. Okay, so bear with me a second because we are going to have a very long 15 minute video probably because um, I've already tried to record this and it just stopped recording on me. So anyway, welcome to this week's Hits, Misses, and Empties and we will give you all the updates on my channel as well as I have a beauty blog now um, if you haven't heard beautyforcheap.blogspot.com um, and I wanted to give you guys um, a bit of before the uh, faves and everything comes through I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update with the channel um, trying to film my makeup collections I have to videotape in the bathroom in the middle of the night or during the morning while Dave is awake or just waking up um, because he likes to tease me oh you're, you're talking to yourself um, but I don't care um, so I find it easier to uh, do everything when he's not around and to film my makeup collection I have to use his iPhone um, and I've been having some issues because his phone is full of crap so there's not enough room for me to film that collection. Um, I might do it a different way where I might just like do an overview with the camera on the um, computer and then go one drawer at a time. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but anyway, let's dive right in. Okay, we're going to start with the empties because I figure get it out of the way because you want to see everything else and let's get started. So my very first empty is something I've used daily religiously for the last five months. I've had this little jar for five months. I didn't wait that long. This is the Pond's Cream S Moisturizing Cream. I used it under my eyes. I used it um, on the bridge of my nose, anywhere in the face where I got super dry. And I will tell you, except for the little tiny bit of product up in there, it's at the bottom. It's at the bottom. That's the very first one. Well, I do have a couple things I've made pan on, which I'm going to do another video on that later. The next thing should not come as a surprise to you guys, since you guys probably saw this last week. In my favorite video, I posted about the Suave Professionals dry shampoo. I love this. I do want to try Batiste. That's the next thing I do. Um, and this is a Salon Professionals hair thingy. And I did not go just between one, but I went through two. Well, this one has a little bit in it, but it's empty. Um, I go through a lot of dry shampoo. I thought this was empty last week, and um, it's got a little bit in it. <laughs> so that's that. All right, the empties are done. Let's get started, shall we? So for this week's favorites, there are quite a few, and like I said, I don't want to have a 25,000 minute, you know, monthly favorites because I have weekly favorites. So let's dive right in. The first favorites are lippies. So I have this NYC um, original 99 cent lipstick um, in 305 in Ruby. It is a very kind of like shimmery ready color. And that's the swatch. Excuse the other lines on my hands. I was testing out um, some NYC stains, and they're still there after a day and a half. Um, yeah. So it's like a garnet, like sparkly, ready color. And I really, truly like this one. So the next one is from NYC Fergie. It's in Fusionista. And it's like a. Ooh, my nose. Fuchsia. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> so, here's the swatch. And it's super, super powerful. Now, my, com my computer does not do it any justice. It just makes it look washed out. But the colors are super pigmented. I apologize for sneezing. I'm, I can't edit it, this, and I don't want to keep doing this video a million times. So, if you don't like sneezing, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so the next thing is a brush. And, like I told you guys on my channel, this is a big bag of everything. So, if I start talking about something else, I'm sorry. This is an e.l.f. C brush. It's the Professionals line. 
and this one has a very dome shape to it and it fits like into the little crevices very very well um it packs on a lot of product if you really want that uh shabam product eye and i also found it works really really well for when you're doing lip powder like if you're powdering your lips with the uh, color shadows and then applying gloss over it to do some psychedelic thing um i used it last night to try it out because i want to just like you know try um something new and i did take a couple pictures and i might just post a picture video here where i um just throw all the pictures in and add some music and show you guys my work i'm not gonna label everything but i might do that along the line of show you guys all my work all my makeup uh looks that i've tried done and and uh, all of the nail products and nail tutorials and things like that i am working on tutorials it's just the problem is i don't want to do tutorials on this computer because you might be able to not see it <laughs> all right the next thing is a physician's formula mineral wear talc free blush in blushing glow it is a loose it's a loose powder and the pigmentation of the blush is just a is just a blushy blush if that makes any sense it, you can't really see too much of it it's a neutral neutrally pink um it goes on natural so you can't really see it that's what i like about powder blushes which i'm probably thinking of trying some more because they go on very smoothly they don't look like you're wearing a lot and i like that the next thing are nail polishes um i as you guys know <laughs> I love nail polish. I have tons of colors on my fingers today because I didn't know what I wanted to wear the other day. So I just put like 10 of them on. So I have 10 different colors in my hands. Um, but the favorites that I put on my hands this week, this is why I do this, is probably every week I'm going to probably just do the same thing and then mix it up a bit. Um, this is Dreamy Poppy. And I have that color right there on my middle finger. Um, I know I'm not flipping you guys off. <laughs> um, but it's very, very, very corally and I like that. The next one is the shimmery, the mega last line. I don't know the color of it, um, but it's like a white kind of metallic-y white, and it's on that finger there, and I think it really is pretty. Um, I don't really know what the name of it is, though. I really want to find out. Um, oh, me, stupid. I'll think of it in a minute. Um, this is the Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Correcting Primer. Um, it's in green. It's just an all over primer. I really like this because it's minimal. It's sheer. I have another correcting palette I showed you guys last week when we went wild that um, had four colors. And they're super green, super pigmented. And this is just a sheer all over face thing. Okay. The next thing is the Revlon Photo Ready 3D Volume in Blackest Black. Watch it, please. This is the bomb shadiggity. The bomb. Because it is a beautiful applicator. I really like this applicator and it pops my eyes like bam. And I don't have to use a comb to comb my lashes out. That's a plus. All right. Let's say a prayer for the bronzer that I dropped that broke. I Well, I can make it a powder bronzer, but this is the NYC um, color icon in uh, Bikini Contest. I'm not going to open it up. It looked like a new bronzer, but now it's a broken piece of crud because I accidentally dropped it on the floor. It is a hit and miss with me. I like it because of the pigmentation because it is right in the cheekbones but I don't think it's a color for me but I like it it's a hit and miss another hit and miss is from the Dollar Tree and I like Dollar Tree stuff they're the makeup remover wipes everybody's hauled these I've seen these like everywhere um they're good for eyes but they slide around like felt and you can't grip your grip them and they don't grip to your face so these are are hitting this and my 
another favorite of the day is juice. Well, it's Capri Sun in a punch. Capri Punch. Hey. All right. Who wants to hear what I hated this week? Hmm? Do you want to hear what I hated this week? Oh, yeah. You want to hear, don't you? Well, let's get started. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the first thing is a physician's formula product. Oh, a physician's formula product. It sucked. This is the um, mosaic face powder in beige, warm beige. Physician's formula. Okay, at first sight, you think fish scales. I thought that was pretty. But, where's the swatch? It's not even the swatching. It's not coming up. You get a light, maybe a light swatch, and you don't get no pigmentation at all. Um, it's supposed to be actual face powder, but it does not. It just, it just doesn't do it. Packaging is gorgeous. But it just does not do it for me. The next thing are the um, NYC individual eye palettes. One's in Central Park and one's in the Smoky Browns. These, I'm not even going to open. Well, I'm going to open. I'll show you. They come with their own highlight and their own eye primer. Okay, I took the eye primers out and put it in a little dip little dish um an empty lip gloss and they do not stay the makeup to each their own but this one don't work for me and to swatch them the browns are the only ones that come off as pigmented everything else looks like crap they do not blend out they do not come off and they are just not for me so there you have my hits misses and totally empties if you guys have any questions any comments anything at all don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe or thumbs down i don't care because i love y'all and have a great day bye